In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an exhaust manifold on your Subaru Impreza. To remove the undershield, start by taking out these four 12 millimeter bolts. There's usually one right there, but that's missing. On the driver's side fender, there's going to be three clips, two on the bottom and one up in the wheel well. Remove those. And do the same on the other side. Once you have the clips out, there's these little hangers in the back that'll hold the shield when it comes down. And then you can just pull them off and off. Disconnect your downstream O2 sensor. Using a 22 millimeter wrench or O2 socket, remove the O2 sensor. Disconnect your upstream O2 sensor connector. There's a little clip here. You can squeeze on the back and just push. Using a 22 millimeter wrench or O2 socket, break free the upstream O2 sensor. You're going to remove these three nuts. You may have to heat them up and it's a good idea to use some penetrating food as well. Using a 14 millimeter socket, you're going to remove these nuts. Using a 14 millimeter socket, remove this bolt at the mid pipe. You can spray penetrating fluid on it to make it easier. Ah! Move these two nuts, the 14 millimeter. Ah! 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 On the back side, remove one more 14 millimeter. I recommend reinstalling one nut, just hand tight, so once you get all of the bolts off, the manifold doesn't fall on you. And on the passenger side, there's gonna be three more nuts. The 14 millimeter. One more on the back side. If you reinstall one of the nuts, now's the time to pull it out. I'm going to try and separate it off of the triangle and down off of the studs. Now we're going to swap the shields over from our old assembly to the new. These are 10 millimeter bolts. 
with 10 millimeter nuts. If you are able to take yours off, I would recommend doing so. However, I am going to have to cut all of mine off. Now that all the bolts are removed, we're gonna to start to move over all our shields. still have some of this foam, try to move it over to the new assembly. You may have to bend and modify these just a little bit to make them fit well. And take a mental note about how they came off the car because they will only go on one way. Now you're going to want to reinstall all your 10 millimeter bolts into the perspective holes. Once you have all your bolts in, go ahead and go around and snug them all up. Using a stud installer, I'm going to install these three studs into this triangle. Start them by hand. You want the long side facing out and you want to snug it up till it hits just about at that flat spot. Using a 22 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna install the downstream O2 sensor. It's a good idea to put some copper anti-seize on these threads, and you torque both of these down to 15.5 foot-pounds. Using a 22 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna install the upstream O2 sensor. Start it by hand. And then snug it down. To remove the nut off of your stud, 
you're going to want to grab two other ones, thread them onto the bottom. And you're going to use a 14 millimeter wrench and you can use two of them or a wrench and a socket. And you're going to want to tighten those down on each other. Go ahead and put the bottom one in your vise. And you may need to use heat on this top nut for it to come loose. Remove the bottom two that you just put on, just leave it in the vise and, and then just remove those two. Using a cleaning device, go ahead and clean up this triangle and also go ahead and clean up the cylinder head where your new gaskets are going to sit. And go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. If your studs came out on removal, now is the time to put them in. I'm going to use a stud installer, start them by hand. And we're just going to make these tight. You don't want to kill them. There. And if you had them come off on the other side, go ahead and install those now too. Now that your manifold's ready to go up, go ahead and slap your gasket on here. And put your gaskets up and then do the same thing to the other side. Now that your gaskets are on, go ahead and put your exhaust manifold in. Try and get it on the head studs first. Now that you have your exhaust manifold up, go ahead and take a 14 millimeter deep socket on a six inch, six inch extension and just put some nuts on hand tight so the exhaust manifold does not fall down on you. And do this on both sides. With the manifold bolts hand tight, you can swing it forward and push your triangle gasket pipe on. Go ahead and put the three nuts on your triangle gasket. Put them on hand tight for now. We will tighten them down later. Now go ahead and continue to put on your manifold stud nuts. Just put these on hand tight and we'll tighten them down after. You may need to push up on the manifold be able to get these back on. Now on the driver's side, we're just going to put on the other two nuts as well. And now that they're all on, we're going to torque them down to 22 foot-pounds. And do the same on the passenger side. Go ahead and tighten down your triangle gasket nuts. And 
and then we're going to torque those down to 26 foot pounds. Go ahead and reinstall your center pipe hanger bolt. Start it by hand. Now go ahead and torque this bolt down to 25 foot-pounds. Reconnect your front O2 sensor to the connector. Push it in and hear a click. And then push this black clip back into the little bracket. Go ahead and plug in your downstream O2 sensor. Push it in until you hear a click. Now to install the rear splash shield, you're gonna slide these two plastics inside of these two rails. Push it up and then attach these plastic clips on the bottom. Now install your four 12 millimeter bolts Start them by hand, we'll tighten them down after. It's not a bad idea to put copper anti-seize on these. And go ahead and tighten them down. And there's supposed to be another one right here, but ours is missing. Go ahead and install your three plastic clips. Currently on the passenger side. Then the one way up in the fender well. And then do the same on the other side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.